Okay, so now that we've discovered that there are races in World of Warcraft, hmm, I'm gonna pick... Um... Let's see... Going to pick a hmm. Not I've done all of these, but probably a dwarf. Then we have classes. Death knights start at a higher level, so they're better, and they get to stab things with a big sword. See, now usually they're worgen because worgens can turn into these and then get down on all fours and run fast like a doggo. Then, if you're in the right zone, you can run even faster than that. And then, I personally also like the mage. Because the, they have all of the shields, so they can shield themselves forever. Then you have the warlock, which summons demons, because you always like those demons. They can have, like, they have a personal demon bodyguard, then they can summon demon doggos, then they can summon demon little imp things. See? those and um can also summon more demons and they can summon meteors to fall out of the sky that explode and demons come out and i'm not lying about any of that that can actually happen as a warlock see the priest heals things or does a little bit of damage but not much usually it's always healing the rogue turns invisible and stabs things and then makes people blind and then you know, stabs them some more the hunter is pretty obvious. You, you get a gun, you shoot stuff. The war, the warrior. You put on a lot of armor. You pick up a big axe and you beat things with it. I mean, like, see, the warrior is like a barbarian from D and D. You need no intelligence, so you basically spin the axe sideways and beat them with a flat side. The Jani like paladin. The Jani personally like paladins, which are basically like a cross between a priest and a warrior. See, you got this big mouth to beat things with, and yet the priest, you can heal things, and shield yourself like the mage, so you're special. Monks, you just kick things, and you punch things a lot. Night Elf, you have Druid. Druids are specialer. Um, they can turn into animals and bite things. They can turn into crows and fly at level 15, even though you need to be level 60 to actually fly. And, um... They also can summon the power of the moon and sun to zap things. Now, demon hunters. I would show you what an actual demon hunter is. Well, this is what a demon hunter looks like. Imagine if a night elf, which are like these druid bros, um, basically ate a demon, absorbed its powers, got really big double-bladed swords like Thanos, and then stabbed things with them while also being able to use eye beams from eyes that don't exist. That's basically one of those. Anyways, hmm. So, hmm, I think I'm gonna be... Now, personally, I think I'm probably going to be... Yes, I thought of it. The only thing is, I need this perfect uh hmm started thinking on the name professor and then oh god dang it all right so i just professor elf guy there we go perfect and then, there's one thing. 
These are called starting zones. But that'll be in the next video.